you can see nice packaging though i always thought that you know microsoft has done some pretty good packaging with their devices pretty close to what you get on the apple experience and here is the tablet itself it does support windows hello so that's a good thing to mention here microsoft surface go does support the windows hello so in here we have a little booklet should be warranty guides and stuff like that maybe a welcome start guide yeah all that stuff is right in here if you want to read that later when we're doing um yeah you know if you watched the channel for a while and uh, going in here should be the power brick so pretty clean laid out unboxing design and here it is a very small and light pocketable i wouldn't say pocketable but definitely in a light bag type of power brick it's not too big it's a little bit bigger than the ipad's brick but yeah, it's still it's still gonna be portable enough and that's it it looks like nothing else is in the box here so that's it for what comes in the box very clean simple boxing experience okay so let's go ahead and peel the plastic off of here and get her booted up and i can already feel that it's gonna have a quality build here for this microsoft surface go and very nice feel in the hand here you know very similar to the upper end of the surface line uh it's it got pretty thick bezels though for 2018 but at the same time you know for what this tablet's gonna do i don't think most people are gonna care too much about that but when I, apple comes out with maybe uh all screen ipad then maybe we'll see more surfaces come down the line with uh more less bezel on the device but let's go ahead and boot it up and see how it does do that and it has a pixel sense display we're not going to get too much into the specs here but i do want to talk a little bit about the hinge here it definitely goes in a lot of nice angles here for this hinge so really sturdy and you could bring it all the way back and all the way down so you're going to have a lot of you know functionality with that hinge for the surface go and we'll test the quality over time but definitely a nice touch there while that's booting up let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories I purchased with it. Here is the Microsoft Surface Pen. This thing's gonna be like 99 bucks to go along with this device. Head and do this and pull it out of the slot and you could see, and you could see there is the Microsoft Surface Pen. Looks like a little eraser at the top. It looks closer to a pencil, I think, than even the Apple Pencil. But let's go ahead and put that off to the side. Take a look at the mobile mouse. This is the Surface Mouse. I got this like way before the tablet even arrived. But let's go ahead and open this up because it will match and go with this product. And you can see it's a simple mouse to go along with the device. And let's see what's in the box here. Just a little how to use it guide. The mouse does have a scroll wheel and it looks like it's going to have a pretty comfortable feel in the hand. And Microsoft has always done pretty nice mouses. So I think this will be a pretty good one to use. And lastly, probably the most must have accessory that goes along with the Surface is the Alcantara Signature type cover. So you can see it says, sourced from Italy, Alcantara is a unique innovative material used for high end luxury products. So definitely high end feeling with Alcantara. That material definitely feels high end. You see that in a lot of high end sports cars. So having it on your keyboard, is a nice touch let's go ahead and wreck this box and get in here and see this type cover so definitely the type cover is a little bit smaller than prior editions of you know the surface type cover like the one for the microsoft surface pro the bigger version but for the go it's a little bit smaller but still it's going to provide that same functionality okay so we are now in the microsoft surface go you can see it runs windows s and this keyboard is very sturdy for the device a couple pros with this device i want to talk about the first time you can get a surface device at a price point that you know could be affordable to a lot but when you start adding the accessories it gets up over seven eight hundred bucks but still that's less than you know maybe like an iphone 10 for example so you can still probably get into this tablet if you really want to it's going to have a pretty nice display compared to a lot of cheaper windows tablets and it has some nice accessories like the mobile mouse that comes with it. You can get the color matching pen like we have here. And the fact that, you know, this runs like a full desktop operating system is going to be a plus. But the cons to this tablet are that it has pretty thick bezels, as you can see around the sides. It has a Pentium processor. I'm going to test that in depth to see if it really chokes up in everyday, you know, light tasks. I'm not going to try to do stuff super heavy, but I'll do a couple heavy things just to see if it can choke it up. It's not quite as fast as a Core i3 laptop here for this microsoft surface go and there's a lot of competition for this tablet on the market for example we already talked about the ipad which i still think is going to be probably a faster product considering it has 
the A10 CPU. Uh, this one has like two gigs of RAM. We have four gigs of RAM here, but Windows needs more RAM because the full desktop operating system. And then if you add in all the accessories that go along with the Surface Go, you can get yourself into an entry level iPad Pro. Granted, you're not gonna get the pencil and the keyboard with it, but if you get a third party accessory, you find it on sale or something, you can get an iPad Pro for almost the same price as this tablet right here. And if you find it on the used market, definitely. So the Microsoft Surface Go has definitely got its competition and work cut out for it. Samsung also just released the Tab S4, which comes with a keyboard, you know, half off if you get it now. And that has a Snapdragon 835 and four gigs of RAM with Samsung deck support. So that's gonna be another competitor in this market. But I think the compelling thing about the Surface Go is that for the first time ever, you're getting yourself a Surface device with all the attachments and accessories that's gonna be less than $1,000. But that processor might be the drawback of this device. USB-C, this one loses some of the ports of the other devices, so you might have to get a hub if you're gonna be doing a lot of transferring with this device. But I think this is gonna be aimed for people who are doing light work, students who are just writing papers and stuff, this will be enough for sure. Anyway, any questions, comments, concerns, I'm gonna put it through its paces and bring some more videos. I'm gonna compare it to the iPad 2018, so make sure you get your comments and feedback in. This is the Surface Go, it's running for $399, $549 if you want the 128 gigabyte edition with eight gigs of ram and they're running pentium processors so don't expect the powerhouse here expect a mobile device with mobile style performance let me know your thoughts down below if you found this video entertaining informing enjoyable do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more 